It's not a camera, it's a video. Oh, it's a video? So this is um, the launch of Untitled, which I um, got my short stories in here. Thank you and the team, Untitled. Um, I'll just read a short part of my story. She's bleeding. We need exposure. I cut Jane's dress vertically at the midline, from her bibis to her chin. I was surprised to find her chest naked under the layer. No bra. Large breasts, pulled by gravity, sat inert on either side of her thorax. In her abdomen, one small yet unmistakable belly bloomed. The mound protruded boldly, defying Newton's second law of universal gravitation. This foul note rendered my symphony silent. She's pregnant, I said flatly, her babies threatened. This was a disaster. There was no D for delivery in the ABC of critical care. Call the women's hospital now. We need help. I continued to cut. The euphoria of last night had turned to fear. I assaulted each stockinged leg until Jane's clothes simply fell apart. She had no shoes. Her undies were red in vivid colour that her lips were not. I cut the undies off too. I pushed Jane's feet towards her head until her legs flopped out in an open frogged position. Her once straw-coloured pubic hair was now caked black. A steady stream of blood still flowed from a uterus. The baby was pushing. A new someone was slipping out. Whether expelled by the forceful walls of the womb or simply falling through a weakened cervix, Jane's baby, premature and small, was making an entrance into the mad, bad world. He came up blue, silent. I cut his only tangible link to his mother, snipping the umbilical cord until he was free. Baby boy citizen was immobile. No sign of life flickered. The warmth of his skin was already fading. He had lived on borrowed heat. Using my fingers, I commenced infant chest compressions. I pushed, but no one breathed. No heart fluttered. We don't need a paediatrician now. I did not need a specialist to tell me what a dead baby looked like. It was only after Jane was taken to the intensive care unit and baby boy citizen to the morgue did I realise that the emergency was over. A slow post-mortem of events revealed I only had to sign one death certificate tonight. It could have easily been two. Jane was in a critical condition, alive but comatose. I did not feel like resuming the protocol. There was too little to celebrate. I sobered. Thank you.